Hi guys. Alright. Welcome to another Some Guys production. Alright, I'm doing a little... I had a few questions on actually how I did uh, my last intro from uh, the... that uh, CPU cooler that I did um, on the review I did uh, a few videos back. And I'm just going to uh, show you what program I used. Basically all I did use was a program called Let's get to it. Go. Yep, it's called Star Wars TSG. All right. Basically, open this up, and it allows you to put in your kind of uh, title sequence that you want to put in. It goes from here. Shows you all everything that you need all the way through, so if I wanted to say uh, uh, 20th century eh. no I won't say that 20th of uh, Feb movie for you. Okay, I'll call it um, title for you ink title for you ink uh, not so far ago well, we go in a garage pretty close by, yeah, that will do. Uh, we'll call it Star Wars just for fun. And whatever that is, I like that. Alright, so now we can generate uh, quality of the actual thing, so I'll just zoom in on that. Go. Alright, there we go, we got small, medium, oops, small, medium, large, uh, you have DVD format, you can have HD quality. Um, just for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go large, uh, 640 by that, that'll do. But you can go HD movie, um, or you can uh, put in custom if you want to. But I'm just going to go for the purpose of this, just large. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's going to be a movie. You can choose specifics if you want that, but I don't really care at this point. So I'm going to choose where we want to put it. Alright, so I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Okay, that should be a good place. Desktop, brilliance. Alright. Okay. I'll just do that here. Right. So it looks like there, so now all I'm going to do is just hit go. Now it's going to generate several images. Now I shouldn't be doing this on the desktop, simply for fact it's going to have several bitmaps that it generates. It's going to have... It can, if you choose HD, it's going to have hundreds and hundreds... Actually, thousands of bitmaps generated on whichever location you have it. Uh, in this case I'm just going to stick with um, that. Uh, you can stop at any time so you don't have to have like, the full sequence. Um, in fact, uh, I'll just um, 
give it a few more seconds because it's just a demonstration and I'll stop it at there but you can actually have it go for a full section this will be a few seconds of video but um, that's no worries so anyway you want to get out of here no, I'm not saving any changes for this uh, alright desktop is going to have four of these images as you can see just because I have it in large quality I still had a hundred or so bitmaps alright you want to have the easiest possible way of doing it is to get um, QuickTime Pro to do this so all you need to do is go into applications just go into QuickTime Player now, when I say QuickTime Player, I mean you do actually have to have uh, the Pro Edition of it. So, this is not for the free version of uh, QuickTime. This is the free version won't be able to do this. Uh, so, you have to have QuickTime Player Pro to actually do this. So, anyway, open QuickTime Player, make sure it's the Pro Edition, and just go into... Okay, if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Uh, here we go. Open image sequence. So you want to click that, and you want to find our image sequence. So it'll be all in here. Just want to highlight everything in there. Yeah, probably the desktop wasn't the best place to actually do it. I have to say it was pretty bad to <laughs> have um, done that. But anyway. Okay, let's get the sink in here. There we go. So basically I just put in that small image sequence straight in there and that's what it gave me. Um, so yeah, it's a few seconds of video but you can, as you can see that's how you do it. And then you can actually just export this as whatever you want. So whatever you want to save it as, you can. Uh, so a better way of doing it would be to export it. This allows you to use whatever options you see net necessary. They can as an MP4. Check the audio. If there is any, at this point there's none, so it doesn't really matter. You can put this HD or full HD, whatever you want. So that's basically what I did.